We exhibit a huge spectrum of traits. Some people are beautiful, others kind, some funny, others brave, others intelligent, some strong, some fast, others tall, and then there are the gifted. Giftedness, according to the National Association for the Gifted Children, is defined as the capability to perform at higher levels, compared to others of the same age, experience, and environment in one or more domains. Joseph Renzulli in 1978 proposed a three-ring definition of giftedness. That gifted behavior consists of behaviors that reflect an interaction among three basic clusters of human trait, above average ability, high levels of task commitment, and high levels of creativity and the IQ normal distribution curve. Intellectual giftedness just lies beyond the genius range because the average of IQ is 100 and its standard deviation 15. This rule therefore places the threshold for intellectual disability at 70 and the symmetrical threshold for giftedness at 130. The gifted make up only about 2% of the entire human population that is approximately one or two in a million persons with gifted IQ. The gifted process information in a fascinating way from the onset. As children they may strike off as incredibly curious, eager to learn and ask a whole load of inquisitive questions. They have an above average amount of gray matter in their prefrontal cortex and the brain region associated with thinking as such they are able to process loads of information simultaneously. They can hold multiple trains of thoughts at a go, which makes them mostly incredibly good at doing mental arithmetics and great at games that employ logical reasoning abilities like chess at age 6. They can tell interesting facts about national monuments, and by age 11, they are able to memorize all the elements in the periodic table. Social isolation is a common trait in gifted individuals, especially those with no social network of gifted peers. Sometimes, to win social approval and acceptance, they may hide their abilities and use less sophisticated vocabulary when among same age peers than when around trusted individuals and family. Plucker and Levy have noted that in this contemporary culture, there appears to be great pressure to be normal, with a considerable stigma associated with giftedness as they say heavyweight lifters compete with heavyweight lifters they ought to go out there into the world and employ their skills at tasks which help society progress forward, as well as reciprocate their ingenuity. Healthy perfectionism refers to having a desire to achieve, having high standards and conscientiousness or high levels of responsibility. The gifted do set standards to the levels that they think, but they do not always accomplish because they are bound by a younger body, fewer resources or social constraints, rendered by the nature of the society they inhabit for an individual with a sense of self-worth equated to his achievements. Any work less than perfect can attract self-criticism, self-doubt, performance anxiety, and ultimately procrastination. This can be further accentuated by aloof parents and family who do not provide the necessary positive reinforcement, and siblings and friends who may be jealous of the gifted child's intellectual ease. There is a shayari in Hindi, which loosely translates to something like a thousand desires I have, each worth dying for, most I have achieved, but yet I yearn for more as such is a nature of life and is normal and we ought to submit and submission is not entirely weakness it is letting the will of nature be done it is similar to succumbing to the laws of physics that could end us if we tread carelessly but the same perpetuates life and in principle comfort in life is temporal we ought to negotiate with the people around us and circumstances as non are permanent we can't change the people around us but we can change the people around us be gentle to ourselves and rise and shine as much as we can. Please leave a like and subscribe to encourage more of such videos.